I came just as soon as the notification popped up. And, um, <laughs> today we're going to be reacting to it. Here it is, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yesterday's reaction was... <coughs> Yesterday's episode was, um, Thor Time number one, Hansel and Gretel. Here we go. Ready, Jeffrey? <coughs> All right. Let's get this over with. Welcome, everyone. I've got my cup of cocoa here. And this should be a very relaxing, pleasant story time with hair. And orange! <laughs> Goody. Uh, today, I'll be reading you the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Nah, we don't need no stinking book. Hey. I know this story by heart. <laughs> Do you? Because last time... Once upon a time, there was a young girl named Goldilocks. She was named that because her hair wasn't actually hair at all. Just a bunch of bike chain locks. What? And she had a couple of gold teeth that were super tough looking. What? Um, excuse me, Pear. Who's telling the story? Uh, it's supposed to be me telling the story. And yet, here I am telling it. <laughs> Anywho, after a long day of keeping bikes secure outside the local elementary school... Wait a minute. Fox went for a ride into the woods and came upon a house. Nobody seemed to be home, so she went inside like a total creeper. Inside were three chairs. One small chair, one large chair, and one medium chair. Nope, they were all the same size. Goldilocks sat down in the first chair, and suddenly arm shackles sprang out, and the thing came down and clapped on her head, and she realized she was in an electric chair. What? And at this point, she said to herself, this chair is too electrified. So she moved on to the next chair. Oh, good grief. She sat in the next one, and it was very comfortable until she found a lever on the side, and she pulled it, and it turned out to be an ejector seat. You are making this up. nuh -uh. Goldilocks got ejected up like a zillion feet into the air. Finally, she was wearing her squirrel wingsuit, though, and flew right back into the house safely so she could sit in the third chair. I can't wait to hear what crazy thing you have planned for this third chair. Fuck yeah! Uh, nothing crazy. The chair was perfectly normal, and Goldilocks realized this chair is just right. That's better. Okay, good. Now we're getting the story back on track. Now you didn't let me finish, Pear. Goldilocks realized this chair is just right. Don't you tell me this bitch is gonna eject her. Up another lever, which she pulled and got no, no, I'm up into the stratus. What the fuck, bitch? What? Yeah, she orbited the Earth a couple times up there because luckily she had her spacesuit with her. How many suits does this girl have? And then she squirrel suited back to the house. Uh. Buzzing an air traffic control tower along the way, making a sonic boom right next to them as a prank. <laughs> Welcome to story time. I'm Pear, and today I'll be reading a... Goldilocks flew back to the house, kept walking through it, and came upon three boom boxes. Boom boxes? Boom boxes, Pear. You know, from the 90s. I don't know what... I don't know what they are. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they are. Oh. <laughs> oh, the classics from 1990. I know what they are. I just didn't realize there were boom boxes in the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. There sure are. See, there was one small boom box, one big boom box, and one medium boom box. Goldilocks turned on the first one, and it was playing 90s hip hop, and she started bugging out to it. Bugging out to it? Uh huh. Then she tried the bigger boom box, and that music was even more bug outable, and she started dancing like crazy. Girl was out of control, Bear. All right, now let me guess. She played the third medium sized boom box, and the music music was just right. Nope, she didn't make it to the third boom box. The three bears came home, and they were angry. So, they ate her. They ate Goldilocks? Um, yeah, because they're bears, and that's what bears do. I did mention they were bears, right? Yes, you mentioned that there were bears. It's just, that's the end of the story? Goldilocks gets eaten while bugging out to 90s hip-hop? No, that's not the end. Okay, good. 
See, remember all those school kids who depended on Goldilocks to secure their bikes during the school day? Yeah. Well, with Goldilocks gone, all their bikes got stolen, and they had to walk home from school. Okay. And they decided to take a shortcut through the woods where they all met up with some bears, and they all got eaten, too. What? Yeah, and actually, the bears went on to eat everyone. And soon, bears overtook the world and created a society where everyone bugs out all the time. The end. Yeah. <laughs> Orange, I'm reading the book next time. You hear me? Orange? Orange? Oh, where the heck did you... Sorry.